the American Academy of Sleep Medicine has come out with a strong position against daylight savings time, and they recommend uh, just staying with standard uh, time 24 seven, 365 days a year. Says Dr. Kevin Carter, medical director of the sleep clinic for Kettering Health. But the U.S. government has decided not to get rid of the twice annual time change that's been in effect since the 1960s. In While its original balance, purpose was to benefit people by allowing them to use less electricity, he says the time change coupled with fewer ever. daylight Researchers hours at the can have an impact California, on mental San Francisco, and physical health. And in so sleep. The, there is the biggest there. thing that we see is people with underlying anxiety and depression. So during the twice a year time change, we see an increase in mood disorders from anxiety, depression, and even suicides go up slightly too. He said other functions of the body can suffer with the time change and inadequate sleep as well, including memory and with immune the right function. People, they are less and with effective. the pandemic in, in full swing, Carter says daylight saving time is a good time to evaluate sleep habits. This is the time of year we get our flu shots. Well, it's really important to get good sleep after you get your flu shot because sleep is a big people who don't of, get adequate sleep, uh, they produce less antibodies, so that flu shot is less effective. Most of these issues, he says, can be mitigated by simply using this weekend's extra hour wisely. People don't take advantage of it. They, they almost act like it's a, an extra paycheck and they spend it, right? So they, they're not taking advantage of that extra hour. And so, you know, we really like people to really focus on their sleep and take advantage of it. Lauren Mixon, 2 News, working for you.